720. It's time to bust some retirement myths. And here to do that this morning, both Ralph and David Hicks with the Oakmont Advisor. Good to have you both this morning. Good to Thank see you. Thank you for being yeah, here. Thanks. We've been talking about all morning long what these myths are. We're going to get to that countdown or count up, however you want to do it here in a second. But first, let's talk about the Oakmont Advisory Group. How long, maybe a little bit about your history and how long you've been investment advisors? Yeah, I've been uh, at this for 45 years, it seems. It goes quickly when you're having a good time. <laughs> uh, right here in Albuquerque. Dave's with me between yeah. seven and eight years for sure. I joined about seven and a half years ago. Yeah. So. All right, so you guys, it's fair to call you the experts. You can been, say that. Been yeah. doing it. All right. We're talking about retirement myths. What are those? Let's start with uh, one of them and, and count up or count down, as I said. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, first of all, we have a friend of the radio show and of our office. His name is Patrick Kelly, and he's a best selling mm -hmm. author, and he wrote the five retirement myths. And so we created a seminar, a workshop around those. And the first retirement myth is buy and hold always wins. You've heard that strategy. I'm going to buy my stocks, I'm going to hold them forever, mm -hmm. indefinitely, mm -hmm. and that, that usually works. It wins, and that's a big myth. Yeah, we, um, we have one in a hundred who seem to do really well at this. Uh, I have a young lady in her early 50s who's created a million dollars in a 30 year period mm -hmm. in her 401k just by buying and holding and ignoring everything else. But for most people, it doesn't work well. We have something called fear and greed and <laughs> these human emotions get us in trouble. So buy and hold for most people it just doesn't work. And then secondly, in retirement day, when, they, when we're starting to pull money out of these accounts, when the markets crash and you're pulling money out, to live on in retirement, you're having to liquidate shares at a discount and it's eating up your shares almost like a cancer mm. and it just destroys your money. So uh, there's got to be a shift in retirement. You've got that buy and hold strategy was great when you were mm -hmm. 30 and 40, mm -hmm. but later in life you got to tighten down. Okay. Well, yeah, I was looking back on the Fortune 500 list in 1955, and the companies that are still around, only 15% of them actually exist today. Mm. So that strategy, I mean, these companies today <laughs> that we're investing in, they may not be around tomorrow. Right. All right, what's another one? Yeah, n another myth is you can't make big returns without big risks. Yep. We find a lot of people that are between a rock and a hard place. They say the banks are safe, but they pay nothing. Mm -hmm. The markets have an opportunity, but they're too risky. So they don't know what to do. If I want a big risk, a big return, I have to take a big risk. Well, in the modern investment world, we have many ways to have good returns and protect your downside, even with no downside at all or a predetermined downside that we've agreed upon in advance. And that's why you want to have somebody help you through this, oh, right? Yeah. That's right. Yeah. 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 All right, let's look at a third one. Yeah, another one is average returns tell an accurate story. This, this idea of average returns, average rate of returns, when you're looking at an investment option, everyone looks at the average rate of returns. But, Dad, why is that really a, uh, a myth? Yeah, let's give you a math quiz here. If you lose 50% in one year and then gain 50% the next year, you would assume that your average rate of return is zero. Right. Okay. Now you have a dollar and you lose 50%, you have 50 cents. Now you gain 50%. So you're at 75. Yes. Right. <laughs> your Don't ask a journalist to do that. But yes, <laughs> right. you, you actually got got nailed it. it. All right. You're you actually down yeah. at 25%. Yeah. But your average rate of return is zero. So that's yeah. a big myth right there. People don't realize that yeah. average rate, rate, rate of returns are misleading. And the whole industry promotes those numbers, average rate of return. Mm -hmm. And they only work, they're only effective if there are no negative years in the calculation. And there always are. You feel a little better about that, knowing that maybe you gained a little bit back. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, and another one is people think they can manage their own portfolio. Mm. And going into retirement, that's a big mm. deal. Uh, unfortunately, media these days, uh, everyone's telling them, hey, yeah, you can, it's your money, you can do it yourself. There's a lot of tools out there to help people, but in reality, that's a, that's a big hurt there. And what's the last one? Um, yeah, if something's really good, then mu everyone must be doing it. So there's a lot of great investment vehicles out there, great strategies. You may not have heard about them, uh, but just working with someone who can show you yeah all of the tools that are available. To yeah, it's just such a good idea. You, you've got 30 or 40 years building up this pot of money. Mm -hmm. It's such a good idea to have a professional walking along with you in retirement. Where can people get more information about you all? Sure. You go to our website, oakmontadvisory.com or call our office, 821-6966. And we'll link to it too through krqe.com and the KRQE links. Thanks guys, we'll be right back.